We begin tonight with the breaking news out of West Fargo. Voters there have shut down a referendum, which would have authorized a nearly $147 million investment in renovations and expansions to district schools. Valley News Team's Reed Gregory breaks down what they were voting for and what's next. $147 million in investments and renovations. That's what was voted on on Tuesday, which includes funds for recently built facilities such as Heritage Middle School and Horace High School. The West Fargo School District contends that these renovations and expansions are necessary to accommodate the ever-growing student population. The $147 million bond referendum encompasses many projects, including the construction of a new elementary school and expansions at existing schools such as Heritage Middle and Horace High. West Fargo Public Schools has witnessed a consistent influx of around 400 to 600 new students annually for nearly the past decade. Some projections even indicating this trend will continue until 2026, at which point it is expected to slow to around 300 new students per year. Following the preliminary results, West Fargo Public Schools Superintendent Beth Sleddy says they hope to understand why voter turnout was so low. While they weren't successful tonight, she believes this is not an indication of a lack of support for the education system. Slutty goes on to say the job now is to get the task force together to chart the next steps since overcrowding is here and they need solutions to make the best possible environment for learners. Just over 3,800 came out to cast their votes. The final polling shows 49.84% of those votes were in favor of the referendum. 50.16% were against. Again, the referendum needed 60% of the vote to pass. The board will canvass the results at their next regularly scheduled meeting, which is going to be on Monday, October 9th.